Morning after the birthday party, we've got one, two special balloons up on the ceiling. Daddy's trying to. Uh oh, Daddy, you made him drop a waffle. I did. I don't like calling you Daddy. <laughs> okay, good. So that does have a hole. So I want to put it through the hole and then we spin it real fast. It's not gonna work. I don't know what I'm gonna try. It might work. This is my first attempt, well, this is my second attempt at doing this technique. Uh, we'll change techniques if this doesn't work. Okay, I got it. Pull it. Oh, oh. Pull it, try to pull it. Not yet. Oh. I think it'll work. Okay. I'll keep you posted. Okay, uh, we missed it. We po we did it on Instagram where Instead. you actually... Here, do you want to give a post-action review? Okay, so what I ended up doing... I did it like three times where I put it through here, spun it around. It didn't work. Turns out, I just went up to the loft up there. I was able to get Lindell's first and foremost. And then I could also reach bears. So it was actually pretty darn easy. Uh, what is that, Lindell? Yum. How about you eat your entire waffle with it? What are you eating, Wee Wee? I want to cut up it. I want to cut oh, up waffle. my waffle. And this, and this morning, we're eating waffles. On the agenda for me today, well, in addition to getting this house in order, I got my first butcher box yesterday. And so I'm really excited. I'm actually thawing some pork right now. That'll, I'm going to thaw it in the refrigerator kind of slow over time. So that'll probably be ready, oh, in a day or two. And I'll probably, I got some chicken, I got some ground beef, I got ribs. So really excited. I mean, just the packaging alone, I'm super impressed. I'm actually going to be, I'm going to start being an affiliate for them. Because uh, they have just such a great product. Uh, so I'll drop that link below. If you've, if you've thought about signing up for ButcherBox, follow my link below. You won't regret it. It's pretty awesome. I'll, uh, I'll update you a little bit later about like what I got and all this good stuff. I seriously remember in middle school having mousetrap. <laughs> this, this is the first time of playing mousetrap and the last. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, it's, well. well I think it's a cool, it's really cool. It's going to be really cool once it's set up. Right. But it's taking like half an hour. Uh-huh. Which, in four-year-old time, that's like four days. And they're like, does this piece go here? Does this piece go here? They're uh -huh. just like grabbing random pieces, and they're like, does it go here? <laughs> like, guys, I can't concentrate. Valid question, however. I don't know yet. <laughs> we lost a wrench already. Where's the wrench? Oh, boy. Oh, no. It's ruined. Yeah, I've got scissors. Just give up, honey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Only three and a half hours later. Now you gotta teach him how to play. So every time <laughs> I, I'm spent, it's your, I'm tapping out, it's your turn. You teach him how to play the game. Although I won't get to see the fruits of my labor. You don't know how to play. Well, we're gonna have to learn. You've played before, right? Uh, in middle school. See, okay, so you already have a leg up. I'm almost 40. You already have a leg up. On that was like 15 years ago. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, no, longer than that. <laughs> I'm old. Trap. How's it going? It's Great. Baby. Is it fun? I mean, I'm winning. Baby. It says it says uh, ages six Lisa. and up, but it seems like they're really grasping it. Here we go. Oh yeah, they are. Is it gonna? Is it gonna? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Louise, that means you have to give Louise, one. Louise, you. You didn't win. You have to give one to you, Lindahl. Hey, Lily, you're in danger. Lily, give me one, give me one. You're in danger. <laughs> All right. Good job, Eloise. That was awesome. I know. Okay, set it back up. Set it back up. Uh, that's this happens a lot around here. I've been in her position before. Do you want me to take over? Yeah. Okay. 
Poor little lady. Does it hurt her or no? It did. Aw. Hold on, Eloise. Let me help you out with that. Got a little bit of engagement on Instagram. However, I think you've come up with all these yourself, right? But I'm sure a million people have suggested them. Um, this is different than the chores. Oh, yeah, this is just a bedtime routine. This is our bedtime routine. We've been struggling a little bit with bedtime, and I mean for like two years. <laughs> yeah. With just getting through it. You know what I mean? We have a hard time, like, staying task-oriented. Right. Because they're four. Exactly. Totally normal. But right. I think this is going to help them take more responsibility for, like, what, what things need to be done for bedtime. So... Every every night, like kind of a routine is that they have to, we call it empty the tank. Even, like they need to go potty. We call it empty the tank because like even if they've just peed, they still have to empty what's in there. That's right. At least try. So empty the tank, pick out their PJs and pull up, brush their teeth, which we brush their teeth, but, and then get their, themselves a water because if we forget to put a water by their bed, then they're coming back out later. And I think they're, well, I know that they're fully capable of, getting their own water. Right. Um, and then picking out a book for bedtime. So we'll do that. Each task that they complete, they're gonna put a little sticker next to it. I'm gonna put a picture here representing each of the things. They'll put a sticker. I think they're gonna love it. Oh yeah. And it'll give them some autonomy for like, this is my bedtime routine that I'm completing on my own. Uh -huh. And then, I don't know how many days are gonna fit on here, but when they're at the very end, they'll earn some amount of money that we haven't determined. Rachel yet. said a dollar. <laughs> but then I'm like, well, then they go, they like do this for, you know, 20 nights or whatever, and they get one dollar and they go to the store. This isn't the only thing that they're doing to earn money, though. Yeah, that's It's true. not like they're, it's a bedtime routine. It's something that should be expected of them no matter what. That's true. The reward could be just putting a sticker next to each the, item. The reward could just be having us as parents. <laughs> <laughs> Both of the babies are moving right now, I think. Are they? By the way. Cool. Yeah. Um, anyway, okay. Yeah. That's... I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I finally just... So, what if, like, uh, one of them's hangry, and they won't do anything? Then what? I don't know. They don't get to put stickers on it. They won't get to fill up the chart as quickly. Okay. Like, if we have to force them through their bedtime routine... Maybe they don't get to put stickers on No there. sticker for you! Yeah. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought that far. Because it's going to happen, like, night two. No, it's not. Want, I think this will be... You want to bet? What are we going to bet? Well, I want a back massage or something. Uh-huh. So then... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I should get those regardless. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bedtime checklist. We'll just hang it, like, somewhere by their bedroom. And then this one, I think, is going to be the chore chart. But we are we have a very loose idea of what chores they're going to be responsible for and how much money each of those chores should earn. Like, I don't know. I feel like we've been too generous. Bear vacuumed up one thing and got a dollar. Yeah, but he took the initiative and did, did it. And he put it away. It's it very impressive. Emptied it. It was, the trash. it was worth a dollar. And then put the vacuum away. It was really impressive. Right. Um, but then, yeah, so I think there should be, like, a list of things that they can do each week. Because, obviously, they can't wash the windows a hundred times and get a hundred dollars. Right. All in one day. So, like, throughout the week, they have their chores that they can check off of the list. I just need some ideas. And, like, how much money is each of these worth? I shall pull up Instagram. Okay. It's been fun trying to teach the kids like the value of money i think we'll probably go ahead and get dave ramsey's he's got like a i don't know if it's a board game or something where it's like teaches kids uh, about money and like what debt is and stuff like that so i think i think we'll get that if you have any suggestions on like games and stuff that are good for kids and finances bring it on down in the comments section obviously we're actively saving for their for their college fund, which has been fun watching that grow. And like really appreciate like help from like my parents instead of you know getting the presents, we'll put money in their college fund, Rachel's parents and, and family. So that's pretty cool. And 
hopefully our kids will graduate debt-free from at least undergrad. I don't know. We'll see if, like by the time they're ready for college age, who knows if like a, you know, what, what will become of like a traditional four-year university. And at this point, it's kind of hard to like determine what we should pay them for each task. So really, we, we need to kind of brainstorm and write down like what each task is worth what. Because definitely they shouldn't be equal. Like no, or could we assign a time frame, like depending on how long it takes them, kind of like being paid by the hour. Yeah. Or paid by the minute. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, comment below. <laughs> well, I think they like the chart. I guess we're going to have to decide what stickers we're going to use, too. Yeah, they need to be pretty little. Lindell, are you excited to do your sticker chart every night before bed? Yeah. Where should we hang it? Um, in our bedroom. Probably by your bedroom. Maybe underneath the towels on the wall right outside your guide book of your bedrooms. Underneath the towels or by the bathroom? By the bathroom. Perfect. Had to move the party outside. Rachel's doing a little organization. My goal before we move again is to com completely go through everything. That's my goal too. This Have, is mom's. This little basket. That's cute. Was inside a box and it's full of mom's stuff. Yeah. For context. Yeah. How did that get in our box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I want to put everything in a box labeled. That way, when we move, we'll be somewhat organized. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but. All of the new ones that we're getting are clear. Right. I think that's what. But if everything's Christmas is red, then you're fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, if we have existing red and green tubs, then I'm putting Christmas stuff in them just to not, right. not waste them. What's wrong, Wee Wee? She wants to turn around. Oh. Uh, what do you think, Bear? Is that pretty cool or what? I can't grab it all the way You can do it. Yep, go ahead. Eloise is getting pretty good. There's uh, not many things cuter than a two-year-old driving a Jeep around, that's for sure. All right, Eloise, now pull the handle up and you're gonna go forward. All right. Yeah, she got a little, a little whiplash. I was gonna say, if you haven't, I've seen a couple of episodes of Edit. If you haven't seen it, I'm talking to you, right? Oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's an organization, like these two really funny girls. Okay, now go. Now. All right, Eloise, now go forward, honey. Go forward and then turn the wheel toward our house. Turn the wheel, yep. Turn the wheel toward our house while you go, and then you'll go around her Jeep. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Toward our house. Turn the wheel real hard. <laughs> yeah, like that. I had a pillow behind her back because she's still just a little bit too short, but she didn't want it. Yeah. Uh, what's what's anytime the hope? We, anytime we go to do a stint of organization in the garage, it would be worth our while to watch a 30 minute episode of the home edit first and yeah. just like get you in the zone of like being ruthless and organizing. And it gets mm. overwhelming when you walk in there and you just see everything. And yeah. Especially ugh, just 10 years of Christmas stuff. Oh, yeah, all that Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's throw it away. All right, night one. Everybody nailed it. Hey, did you guys have fun doing your stickers? Yeah. Does it, it makes bedtime fun. Does it make bedtime fun? Yeah. yeah. And we fill up all the boxes until we get to the end. It's so fun, it's so fun, it's so fun. <laughs> That's the first time in a really long time that we haven't had to like, I mean, 
mean, we did all of our bedtime in like 10 minutes. Uh -huh. We don't even know how. It was, we don't it was need, glorious. We need help. We don't even need you help. You don't need help. You guys can do everything all by yourself. I knew on night one it would go great. We'll see. You're getting so big. You're, you've been very skeptical. I know. All well, that's why I'm thinking. Even if it works for a week. That would be worth it. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Right. Um, there's another, like this was pretty time consuming, but somebody else had an idea where, like, they have a, okay, they have a, um, clothespin with their picture on it, and they move it from, like, the potty, to the pajamas, to the toothbrush, oh, that's to cute. the book, and then, it, and then they put their picture, clothespin, in the bed. Hey, mom. You guys. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to redo this Mommy. every 25 days. Right, exactly. Mommy, 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 Mommy,